Hey guys, uh, if you remember a while back, we made this, uh, we did a tutorial on this project and made this into a little series graphic. And one of the guys in the group, Eric Whitman, was uh, working on it and needed some help. And uh, so we worked together to create this. And he's offered um, to let us use it for free and post it on the site. So um, while in the process of making this into an editable graphics package that you can download, I threw them onto a bunch of artboards and figured I would just share a quick little video of um, some stuff I'm learning with artboards. Now, this isn't anything mind blowing. Uh, most of you probably already do this and I'm I'm behind but I figured I would share it anyways uh, so for me you know I was always thinking I would have to go in and you know update all of these graphics or these uh, the series title for all these and get it just right but I um, just want to show you really quickly as far as like embedding linked files um, so originally I would go into my uh, main graphic here um, and have my title all my text in here that I can go in and change and go in here to the text layer you know, hit T on the keyboard, go in there and change change this to whatever the new series was. Maybe it's called Beatitudes or something. Um, and then I would have to update that or I would have to duplicate this folder um, holding down Option and Alt and drag it to other other documents and move it around and, and oops, um, go into here, uh, doo -doo -doo, title, move it around and resize and all that stuff. Um, but what I did for this one was, let me get rid of these, so I'll just delete all that. Um, I have my main graphic and then I made it a linked file so um, you can see it right here this blessed main text so to make this update across the board what I would do is um, right click on this uh, or I guess I could just double click on this little icon here and that shows this linked file so this opens up another PSD and inside of here I have my text all embedded so I can turn this on so I can see it and then I can change this around so if I hit T on the keyboard type this maybe call it Beatitudes and then I can uh, maybe scale this down a little bit, kind of fit where it was. Um, type in you know sermon, sermon on the mount. I'll get it right. And I'd probably separate that a little bit. Maybe uh, 225. Probably more than that. 260. We'll call that good for now. You know, get that, get that however I want it. I don't have to go through all this. Um, but then I would just save this. So I'll turn this layer back off. Save it just how I want it. Command S. Then I go back to my main blessed graphic, and it updates across all of those um, documents. So as long as I make that a um, linked file, then and I put them in all these artboards, then it'll update. Now, if you didn't have this in here originally, you know, you'd make your graphic first, and then all you would need to do to get that linked file in here um, is go to File. Uh, place linked and then you would do that you would do your uh, that PSD that we we're just in so you would click there and it drops it in there as a as a linked file well, I didn't do that one but um, anyways it would drop it in there as a linked file uh, probably if it didn't already have it in there regardless so um, I felt like kind of interesting now you, you could go in and resize them and, and move them all around um, a couple of the things I've messed with is you know trying to export these and uh, make them just right so uh, one thing you can do for exporting artboards oh, whoops, is you can just go to File, Export, Artboards to Files, and then um, tell the JPEG. But for me, you know, I have a PNG and stuff in here, so that doesn't really work. Um, so I don't need this as a JPEG. That's not going to do me any good. So I would just select the ones that I want to export um, like that. Go to File, um, Export as Artboards Files, and then I can say, um, uh, export export selected artboards right there so it's saying okay you selected some and that's what you want to do you want to make sure that I export just those so I do those as a JPEG format tell it where I wanted to save and then it then it does the whole process um, now for PNGs uh, a quick way to you know if you have to make a lot of these um, for teaching slides or something you could obviously duplicate you know your lower thirds and, and make a whole bunch of them but um, a quick way to export those would just be to right click on the actual lower third um, artboard and go to quick export as PNG and then tell it where you want to save it and it exports as a PNG. You just need to make sure that it is actually a, a transparent background. Um, I had a hard time finding out like I ended up duplicating a lot of these and making them and then I got down to the PNG and I had this this black background I couldn't figure out how to how to change my artboard settings um, so I had to do a little googling to figure that out but I went to um, ended up finding out that you go to window and then properties and that pulls up um, Oops, I guess it's right here. Then I will I click on one of these um, artboards and then tell it, um, hey, I want the background to be transparent. 
instead of because originally it was it was black here and that's not gonna do me any good when I'm using making lower third so I tell it to do uh, transparent so that was that was hard for, for me to find for a while so um, but that's really it that's, there's not a whole lot of you know that's not super interesting or mind-blowing but um, I thought it would be interesting um, for you if you ever do artboards or use these so um, the good the good news is we've made this a free download uh, so this could be a ton of different things um, for you know a, a graphics only package for any kind of series so if you go to um, our website and go to um, pull it up really quickly uh, slash freebies and down here under slides or you can just click slides here and you can add it right there uh, it's ready to go so add that in the cart and download it um, comes with a video tutorial uh, walking you through how to change all these things so um, enjoy we appreciate it thank you Eric for letting us share this and uh, we'll see you soon bye